Zipporah Sine is the first woman to serve as the Corinne National Union's General Secretary. She assumed the role last year after her predecessor was assassinated outside his home. Sine is used to living with fear. She was born in Myanmar's Corinne state and spent her early years on the run, evading attacks by government forces while her father served in the Corinne army. The ethnic Corinne make up about 7% of the total Myanmar population and have fought for independence for 50 years. Thai authorities have not officially recognized Sign, but have allowed her to live on the border since 1995. From there, she has helped document the atrocities committed by Myanmar against the Korean population in reports by the Korean Women's Organization, a group that promotes awareness of women's rights in Myanmar. In two reports titled Shattering Silences and State of Terror, Sign gathered testimony from female victims of rape and torture perpetrated by the Myanmar military, known as the State Peace and Development Council, or SPDC. Sign's dedication to women's rights earned her the prestigious Perdita Houston Human Rights Award in 2007, but she remains on guard. Thai security recently searched key Karin offices and tension is expected to increase ahead of the Myanmar 2010 election. Can you tell us first a little bit about your childhood uh, living in Myanmar? I was born in Karen State and I'm growing up in Karen State. Uh, I'm not growing in the big cities but in the rural areas because my family involved with the Karen struggle. My particularly my father involved with the Korean struggle since the Korean resistance started in 1949. Like we do not own any like properties and we do not own like I will land on a proper house and we just living from one place and after two or three years then we move to another place. What are some of the dangers that the, the young boys and girls face when they're under attack from the junta? Many of the, the school, like when the military attack, so the school has to stop, the school have to stop, and the, all the, the students and the teachers have to move in the jungle. When I was in standard grade seven, then at, at, it was a time also when the, we were at school, and uh, I lived in the dormitory, and when the, the, the Burmese soldiers came to close to our uh, village and the school places and so we all the school and the teachers and the students we r ran away and we are we were hiding in the jungle it was the time when our exam was near so we had some time to find the time to study but even like we study or uh, in the jungle but we were not feel we, we were feeling very insecure because we don't know whether the, the, the army will come and, uh, and like, attack our place. So after I finished the standard grade there and went to another school and my friend still was in the village and she was a teacher and she, she married after that and she married and she was pregnant and at the time the army came to the village and then they shoot the villagers they try to uh, ar arrest the villagers. My friend and her husband hid in, the, in their farms, but the Burmese soldiers found them and then they, shoot, they shot the husband in dead in front of her and he, they took her in the village and they stripped her nape and then after she was pregnant also and then after that she uh, pulled off the the eyes and then left her die and tied her in the middle of the village. Can you tell us a little bit about the reports, uh, the human rights reports, shattering the silence and state of terror? For the, for the first report that we uh, document particularly for the rape case of the women. So the international community, we know how the Korean and the women in the ethnic areas, they suffer from the, the SPDC. They, the, they want to wipe away the ethnic people, in particular the Korean people. And many women were, were raped. The women were raped during uh, the, 
they carry, like they carry their ammunition, they took them, and also they were raped while they asked them to go to work for their camps because they ordered the women to go and work from their camps and uh, the, the, the women were raped. The women have to face their rape like gang rape and like most also like the, the, the rape were the officials and uh, so, sometimes by the, by the soldiers. It is not only in our current uh, ethnic areas but also in other areas. So the Burmese army, they used like, they used the uh, women, uh, became like the weapon of war, and they also have the, how do we say, the, the systematic uh, and uh, widespread. The, the rape is become like their, their strategy of, uh, of war. People who are living in the city and living in, inside Burma, not in the Korean control area, they do not access to learn their own language. So they are forbidden to learn the Korean language. So only the people who uh, have the opportunity to learn the Korean language when they go to church and they study at the uh, Sunday school. And as the same thing also like some who go to the, the Buddhist, the monastery and they study some Korean from that. How would you like to see the international community join together to help bring about peace in this conflict. We need international community to, to look at very closely and involved with the, the cases in Burma. And we would like to see the international community to push, uh, to put more pressure on Burma, like economic sanction and our embargo, and also other like investment in Burma. And we also want the United Nations Security Council like to uh, make stronger for uh, these uh, Burma issues and abiding their resolution on Burma issues and their agenda.